Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So far in our previous videos, we have covered the list of features that are introduced in Java 8. Then we covered the first and the most important feature that is lambda expression. Then we covered functional interfaces. After this, we saw how we can invoke lambda expression with the functional interfaces. Also, we have covered how we can replace the anonymous inner class with the lambda functions. We also saw some of the differences between anonymous inner class and lambda expressions. In case you have missed it, you can click on the link mentioned in the i button. So in this video, we will cover another interesting concept that is default methods in an interface. Why these methods are added and some of the example to understand this. So remember, prior to Java 8, Interface in Java can have only abstract methods. All the methods which you declare inside an interface used to be public and abstract by default. Java 8 allows the interfaces to have default and static methods. But what are default methods? The methods that come with their own implementation are called default methods or you can call it the concrete methods. It should be declared with the keyword default. You can override and redefine the default method in the implementing class. But what is the need of default methods? Why do we need? The reason we have default methods in an interface is to allow the developers to add new features to the interface without affecting the classes that implement this interface. So let's imagine that we have an interface that has been implemented by a lot of classes. And after some time, you want to introduce a new method to this interface. Can you imagine the headache? You will break a lot of classes and the efforts to refactor. You have to implement that new method in all the implementing interfaces. This is a huge uh, task and it also violates the contract that was established while implementing the interface. To solve this headache, Java 8 onwards, a new concept is introduced. This is called default method. So default methods enable you to add new functionalities to the interface of your libraries and ensure the backward compatibility with code that is written with the older versions. We can say that the concept of default method is introduced in Java 8 to add the new methods in the existing interfaces in such a way that the backward compatibility is preserved. Backward compatibility means adding new features without breaking the old code. One of the major reasons for introducing default methods in Java 8 is to enhance the collection API in Java 8 so that they can support lambda expression. For example, list or collection interfaces do not have the implementation for for each method. In this way, backward compatibility is neatly preserved without having to refactor the entire code. To better understand the functionality of default interfaces, let's create a simple example. Here, we have an interface, interface 1, which has one default method, that is method 1. Notice method 1 is declared with the default keyword. To call this method, let's create a class which implements this interface. Please notice how the default method method 1 from our interface 1 are automatically available in the example class. Furthermore, if at some point we decided that we want to add some more default methods to interface 1, the application will still continue working and we won't have to force the example class to provide the implementation for the new methods. So the most common use of interface default method is incrementally provide additional functionalities to the given type without breaking down the implementing classes. In addition to use them to provide additional functionalities around an existing abstract method. So let's look at this example into the actions. So here you can see we have an interface example that has a default method, method 1, which has one statement system.out.println. Then we have example class which implements the interface example, which has a main method and that invokes the method 1. So let's compile this code and let me run this code. So you can see this will print default method. So this was it for today. 
today we have covered a kind of introduction to the default methods and we understand why do we need default methods in our upcoming videos we'll see the problem of default methods when it comes to multiple inheritance you can leave your questions if you have any in the comment area i hope you like this video so do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for yet another videos of java 8 till then take care bye bye and thank you for watching